Hello there. Are you a person who would describe themselves as being in love with the sport of disc golf? Yeah. Or better yet, do you have feelings of admiration for someone who would describe themselves as being in love with the sport of disc golf? Yes. Well, if you said yes to either of the previous statements, then Hot Jiminy, do I have some gift recommendations for you. Let's jump on in. What is up YouTube fam, Robbie C here. It is the holiday season once again and we wanted to dive into a quick video that gives you some gift options so that either you can be inspired to treat yourself or you can share this with the loved ones in your life who might be asking, well David, I know you've really been loving that frisbee golf thing for a little while and I just wondered what I was supposed to get you. Don't worry David, we got you. Now we've made a couple videos like this in the past and my hope is to continue making these every year because the disc golf market continues to innovate and come up with new and amazing products that I wanna be sharing with y'all, especially as the gift givers. With that being said, in order to keep this video short and avoid repeating myself, you can find some of my previous videos right here and they're gonna be in the description below for you to check out after you finish this one if you're still looking for a couple more ideas. But it's Thanksgiving day, so I wanna make sure this video stays short so you can get back to some great family time and some amazing Thanksgiving food. Hopefully both, but fingers crossed for at least one. We're gonna start on the big end of the budget and work our way down to some stocking stuffers. So number one is definitely going to be a basket. This right here is a Patriot, which is one of the higher end baskets Baskets because it's a course ready basket, especially due to the galvanized chain, which means that it's weather resistant so I can leave it in my backyard over time. I love this Patriot basket, but there are two others that I would recommend if you wanna take that next step for your baskets. The first practice basket that I'm gonna recommend is actually the Marksman Lite, which comes in super affordable and this smaller chain set, as you can see, compared to the larger chain set of a normal basket, actually helps you dial in your practice and your focus so that when you learn to putt on a thin basket like this, it makes step up to a normal basket on a regular course feel like it is massive. As I mentioned before, this is the light version of this basket. So in order to creep the longevity of it, I can't leave it outside. It doesn't need to come in and out, but it is also really lightweight, which makes it very easy to transport in and outside. And the third option for baskets that I'm gonna recommend, and I'm genuinely confused why more people don't have this basket in their life, is the mock shift. Immediately, what you're gonna notice about the mock shift is that it has the look of a full-size standard basket, but this white rim, it also comes in blue, has the same makeup or look as the Marksman that we were talking about before. One of my favorite parts about the Mach Shift is that you can move these chains from the outside to the inside. And when you do that, you can actually eliminate the outer rack, which turns it into a Marksman style basket. So for the price of purchasing one basket, you get the best of both worlds. But this isn't where the Mach Shift stops. DGA really did try to make this the best training basket out there because it also offers a telescoping pole so that you can shrink the actual height of the cage or the basket itself, which makes putting even harder and allows you to continue that mantra or method of, if I can hit on this, there is no way that I can miss when I step up to a regular target. Plus a little birdie might've told me that during the holiday season, they're planning to have these shifts on a massive sale. These are just a few of the multitude of basket options that are out there. And I really stand behind any of these three that obviously increase in price as you go up. And you can just decide on what level of commitment you're looking to go for your basket. Now option number two, we're we're gonna talk about footwear. Personally, I am a huge fan of socks and Crocs, but while they are the superior choice of footwear in life, even in sport mode, they are not a fantastic disc golf choice. For lots of disc golfers, they prefer to use a trail hiking shoe. One of the reasons they prefer trail hiking shoes is traditionally they are lighter weight while also offering a waterproof option. For disc golfers who are playing in tournaments, there are early morning tee times, there is still a lot of dew on the ground, and so if you don't have a waterproof shoe, it can get really messy really fast. There are a ton of shoe options Options out there, but I'm gonna put some of the local favorites here right next to me, as well as talk about the Idiosyncrasy, which is a new disc golf shoe that came out this year. I will say when it comes to disc golf shoes, you do usually get what you're paying for, which means that it's traditionally worth spending a little bit more to get that higher, nicer quality shoe because we are putting a ton of wear and tear on our shoe when we play the game of disc golf. I know for me personally, as someone who was playing around two to three rounds a week before I found this pair of shoes, I was burning through two to three pairs of 
of shoes a year. So thank you to my amazing father-in-law for hooking me up with some amazing shoes for Christmas. Third item on the Christmas shopping list is Annette. And no, I'm not talking about a random person named Annette. I'm talking about a big wide net that you can throw a disc into. For disc golfers, instead of getting to go to a driving range, they often want to throw a lot of shots or reps to try to work on their form so that they can increase their distance accuracy. The problem is when you go to a field and you throw disc after disc, you run into two issues. Having a net that you can throw into allows you to get a lot of form work and repetitions in without having to go through the treasury and pain of walking out into the field. With a fantastic net, you can get twice the amount of throws and half the amount of time. Trust me, the disc golfer in your life will thank you. As we work our way down the rest of the list, we are almost out of tangible or physical items that you can buy someone because the other options are gonna be a little more niche. And that's okay because I promise you the disc golfer in your life will still appreciate all of them. Which as you can tell, the first thing is a rechargeable hand warmer. For lots of people, even if you're playing down in Florida, eventually the winter comes and it's not conditions that you're normally used to or like playing disc golf in. Rather than going to Walmart over and over again and buying another hand warmer that you only get to use for that round or that day, a rechargeable hand warmer actually has the same effect. Most of the modern ones actually function as an external power bank as well, so you can keep your phone nice and charged even if you're using it during the round to play some fantastic tunes. The next time you're probably gonna think, Mr. YouTube man, why haven't you talked about discs at all? Isn't that what it's all about? And to that, I would say yes. There is nothing quite like the value of having a brand new disc, but discs are extremely personal to people. If you're buying for someone, it can be really hard to know what kind of disc to get them. So I wanna give you three quick routes on where to go. The first is instead of buying full size discs is to buy macro discs. A macro disc is a smaller version of a disc. You can see the size difference in these two discs alone. Macro discs are smaller versions of a normal disc, which are fantastic to play little mini games with. And I often like to give them to my nieces and nephews who are a lot younger and don't have the ability to throw or rip a disc. Macro discs can be a ton of fun to throw and every disc golfer deserves to have a few macro discs in their selection if they don't already have some. The second option that I'm gonna tell you for buying discs for people People is to go the route of a gift card. Buying a gift card to a local disc golf shop or some of the major retailers like FoundationDisc.com, OTB Discs, or InfiniteDisc.com can be a huge blessing so that your disc golfer in your life can go out and get exactly what they're looking for rather than you chancing that you may or may not get the right thing for them. But I totally understand that buying a gift card for someone can be a totally underwhelming opportunity and some of you wanna have stuff under the tree, especially those big old boxes. And to that, I would encourage you to check check out mystery boxes. Mystery boxes are traditionally given out by retailers or manufacturers who actually create the discs and they pile a bunch of discs in a box together and you usually pay a flat fee of around $50 to $100 to get at least five or six discs, which is a fantastic value for buying Frisbees in general. So mystery boxes can be a fantastic way for the player in your life to get some really cool limited edition stuff and also have a great opportunity to check out plastic or discs that they've never thrown before for because they may not be willing to buy them individually, but when they come in the box and you already own it, <laughs> you might as well throw it. This final tangible item is one that a lot of people don't think about, but if they had, they would actually get a lot more value in their game. And that is a simple, cheap tripod, especially one that can hold a phone. As a disc golf coach, I often tell people that they need to record themselves throwing so that they can see what they actually throw like. The tricky part about that is that it usually involves another person holding the phone or the camera or whatever they're recording with. If you have a simple tripod that can hold a phone, you can take it with you during your disc golf rounds and you can actually record lots of throws during a round, even if you're playing by yourself. And if the disc golfer in your life ever wants to create some social media content or YouTube content themselves, having a great tripod is an easy way to get them started on that journey. All right, so let's talk subscriptions for our final options that you can gift your disc golfer. The first subscription option is going to be a UDisc Pro membership. UDisc is a free scoring app that lots of players use, and it has a ton of information in it, including where to find courses near you, what other players have shot on those courses, where local stores might be. Now, while you can function on the free version of the app for an incredibly long amount of time, it has a fixed number of scorecards that you're allowed to use. And the frother in your life probably is playing more often than the limited scorecards that they're allowed to keep. For only $15 a year, you open up the app and allow so many more options, including unlimited scorecards, which can be huge for that lovely disc thrower you know. The second option for subscription is to get your loved one or that frother in your life a PDGA member 
membership. This allows the disc golfer to compete in PDGA sanctioned events and have their stats and records tracked via a rating. Now for an amateur, the PDGA membership comes in at $50, but it also gets them a couple things of swag items, including a disc, and it gets them that lifelong PDGA number that they can show off for decades and decades to come. Now, while you can compete in certain PDGA sanctioned events, if you don't have an active PDGA membership, it's going to cost you an additional $10 to compete, which means if you plan to compete in PDGA events, that membership pays for itself in only five events. And the last membership that I'm gonna talk about kind of compounds on that PDGA membership, and that is a subscription to the Disc Golf Network. The Disc Golf Network is the home of live disc golf and where players can watch the best players in the world actually compete on the Disc Golf Pro Tour. I believe the subscription currently comes in at $15 a month, but if you're an active PDGA member, it's only $5 a month, which means that for $110, you could gift the loved one in your life free live disc golf for the rest of the year, as well as the opportunity to have a rating and be able to compete in those PDGA sanctioned events. And the 2023 season, it feels like out of the 52 weeks in the year, there's only going to be like 10 weekends that there isn't something happening on the disc golf network. So if you're also looking to get that frisbee thrower out of your hair on weekends, it's a pretty easy way to make sure they can sit and watch TV away from you. But before I let you get back to family, I want to give two reminders real fast, is that if all of these options feel like they don't work for you, feel free to check out one of my previous videos that you'll find a link for in the description below. And the second is that if you're looking to go all out and have an extremely cool experience, the Disc Golf Pro Tour that I mentioned that you can watch on the Disc Golf Network actually tours all around the country. So you can also head over to their websites and you could buy your loved one a live disc golf experience and buy them tickets to go hang out at that event for the weekend. I know I personally am planning to go to several Disc Golf Pro Tour stops next year and I can't wait to meet some of you there. Clarification, not because I'm playing. Once again, I'm not that good. Let us know in the comments below what other gift options you would suggest and if you're going to Pro Tour stops next year, which ones are you planning to be at? Hopefully we'll see each other there. In the meantime, enjoy the rest of your week, make it great for someone else too. And for now, we're gonna leave you with the birdie.